you realize there's no perfect time there's no right time the only right time is right now and just think about it all the times you put something off because you wanted to do something at another time or you wanted to wait for the right time when did that actually come about rather than you taking action and being in the present because the future doesn't exist the past doesn't exist you experience everything as today when you make decisions you have to make decisions today so if there's a decision that you want to make why not make it today now understand <laughs> you're going to buy a car when you have zero dollars in your bank account obviously you can't do that right now but that's not a good decision don't get the two confused but as far as you waiting around for some significant time or for you to feel better to do something or for you to achieve something you're wasting time by waiting I was talking to a friend the other day. He checked up on me, one of my good friends, and he said, I'm going to wait till I get in a better spot to start YouTube. I want to get back to it. You inspired me. I was like, bro, when I started YouTube, I was crumbling. I literally started YouTube as I was falling into the darkest spot I've ever been into. And I started, you know, running a marathon at the darkest point of my life. <laughs> what perfect time. What are you waiting on? If you go ahead and start right now, while you're going through what you're going through, that routine, the system that you build, it will provide some sense of, you know, normal in your life. And this routine will pull you out of these dark places. Imagine if I would have waited till I was healed or waited till it was a better time for me to start what I was doing. I started YouTube in September. And I really started my marathon in November. November the 4th was the first post that I made for my marathon. November 4th all the way to mid-January, I posted every day. It was 65 days straight. And um, I just kept going. I just kept going and kept going. November 4th, I think I might have had, I want to say 400 subs. It's like 400 subs. And at the end of December, I was at 60K because I started then. And I had already... You know, had my plan, I already had the system going, and then I even told myself earlier on, I was looking at this dude channel, I'm like, bro, he started back then, if I would have started back then, I would have been all right. You know, I compare myself, and some people, you know, for motivation, I don't ever put down on myself, not anymore. But then I was like, you know, I was sitting there, I was like, man, you know what, I'm going to wait to New Year's, 2024, to start my YouTube channel. And I was like, you know what? Nah, forget that. I'm going through something right now. I'm going to pull myself out of it by starting now. Taking action, starting today. So I started today. And from September to December, the end of December, like I said, I was at 60K. And by the time we got to the New Year's, you know, I had hit 100K after like two weeks. If that's not a testimony, I don't know what is. And social media, these things, this is not going to apply to everybody's life, but the story, the lesson still remains the same. The best time to start is now. It was really years ago, days ago, weeks ago, but you don't have that anymore. So start today. There's no reason for you to wait. You could literally die tomorrow. You could die next week. Now, some people will say, well, then this, the grind was worthless then because you died in a week. The mindset is screwed, bro. If you're thinking like that, mindset's screwed. Your mindset is cooked. And you got some serious work to do. Take every day one day at a time. Focus on the things that are important. But remember, taking action is the only thing that changes. I was talking to somebody once. I was talking about making plans about certain things. And the analogy about birds staying in the nest too long came up. It was like a bird stay in the nest, learning how to fly and, you know, watching their mothers, watching their siblings, but they never leave the nest because they're afraid. They never learn how to fly. They can watch, they can talk, they can eat, they can tell you all these things, but they don't know how to fly. And I think a lot of us, we spend this time too busy in our heads. We spend way too much time in our heads coming up with this master plan. But when it comes to taking action, you're nowhere to be found. Everybody knows how to become a billionaire in 2024 you know from technology from social media from their basement but nobody wants to work nobody wants to go any go through anything you got everything you need in your brain but you won't take action why because you're waiting for the perfect time you wait until you get a few more dollars you're waiting for this you're waiting for that now truth be told sometimes you do have to actually 
wait for the right moment to do things. Like I said earlier, how are you going to buy a car if you got zero dollars in your bank account? That's just a bad decision. Sometimes you do have to wait around for certain things. But what I mean by starting now, starting today is control everything that you can control. If you cannot afford a laptop and you want to become an editor, why are you not editing on your phone? Why are you waiting till you get a laptop? Why not get ahead right now on your phone? If you want to start YouTube, why wait and save up for a camera? Why not start on your phone? Go ahead and clear some of that storage out. You can't buy you a little storage device and get to transfer or something. Buy you some storage or that iCloud storage. Get some stuff off your phone. Start now with what you have. If you want to be a musician and play 20 instruments, why are you not practicing the one that you have? Why are you not seeking lessons or something like that? Some type of knowledge. You're going to be financially literate, but you're going to wait till you get 100000 Why not learn how to make 100000 Why not work and start saving? that hundred thousand it's just about you starting today controlling whatever you can control and that's it that's all it is but the problem is we look at everything we get overwhelmed and we go right back to where we started in our head and then you get motivated and then you look at everything all at once and you get unmotivated you get overwhelmed and then you go back to where you started from just take everything step by step by step by step. I wanted to have a big catalog of videos and a bunch of references to help myself and help other people. I didn't film, edit, upload, and plan out every day. I didn't do that. I was working a job and I was going through a heartbreak. Every day, it had a purpose and I used my time wisely. I would get off my nine to five side hustle. I would come home. One day I may film 10 videos and I go to sleep. I get up, I go to that nine to five side hustle. I come back home and I edit all 10 of those videos. I did that, I built up a stockpile and I had some cushion for myself because I was doing a lot of things while going through a lot. But I was controlling everything I could control. I couldn't control the amount of views I was getting. You know, outside of what I do, the content, the thumbnails and things like that, everything that I felt like I lacked, I improved. My quality, my visuals, my captions, the way I spoke, the way I conveyed certain messages, the way I just planned out things without even planning out things. I didn't write my videos down. I didn't you know, have these scenes and scripts and edits. It was just me talking. But the way I you know, gave the message changed and now I have my own little format. I announce what we're talking about. I give some sort of reference. I tell a story and it's just that over and over and over and over and over again nothing special it's just my method but at the end of the day i took control of my situation no matter what i was going through and i controlled all the things that i could control and if i ever run across something that i'm not doing i assess the situation and i fix it point blank period and that's all you can do and that's all you can really ask of yourself you know what i'm saying control the things that you control and don't be so hard on yourself so whatever it is that you want to do right now today, if you want to be a YouTuber, record that first video. If you want to go to the gym, if you want to start working out, start your regimen today. If you want to clean your diet up, start today. Just because you know you're cleaning your diet, that don't, that don't mean you have to take everything that you eat and throw it in the trash. Just start small. You had five cakes this week, try three. You drink soda every day, try limiting it to three days a week. You know what I'm saying? Just slowly but surely keep chipping away at the things that you can control and your life will, it will change for the better. Trust me. If it don't, then come back and see me. If you go through your life and you really adapt a mindset, adopt a mindset that you only can control the things that you can control and you do those things. If your life doesn't change for the better, come back and see me. Now we'll take down the world and reconstruct it ourselves. Because my life has been better since I stopped worrying about things that I can't control. And since I've been taking action and doing the things that I can control. Life has been better. And every time I get outside of that frame of work, things get worse. But not worse in a bad way where I'm complaining or I'm upset. It's just like, hey buddy, you was doing something right. And this is the results you get. And then you're doing something else. And this is the results you get. So what do you want? 
It's a great reference point. Mistakes are a great reference point. So you look at your life, assess your situation. Where are you in life and how does it align with your thoughts? When I wasn't really feeling the consistency, when I really didn't want to put in the work, when I was putting myself on a back burner, when I was doing X, Y, and Z, putting time and energy here and not putting nothing here, my life was in a place that I didn't want. But I was doing all the work. I was taking action in all the wrong ways. I did all of it, all the heavy lifting to sabotage my own life. And I mean that very lightly. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm not a miserable person. and I never really was. I was upset about things. I've been through things. But misery is not a part of my identity. But like I said, the place I had in life or the place I was in in life, it aligned with my with my thoughts and my actions. Maybe not so much thoughts, but actions for sure. Still thoughts, you know. But when I started to change my thoughts, it started to influence my actions slowly but surely. And it got to the point where I felt like I was abandoning myself because I was thinking about certain things so much and thinking about the places that I want to be and the person that I wanted to be or the identity I wanted to adopt that it was influencing my actions and pulling me and hurting me because I was it was like I was rejecting myself and I knew it. I felt like I was neglecting myself and I could really see it because I felt some way about something, but I was doing something else. And then I finally said, you know what? I'm going to start today being that person that I want to be. Truth be told, I'm already that person. I just got to embrace it. I just got to be that. I just got to become that and I got to be consistent at doing that. And from that day on, I don't remember exactly what day it was. But maybe October 24th. No, hell no. September 24th. I think it was September 24th. That day it just hit me in the face. 2023. Went to the beach that day. But, man. Things can change if you allow them, man. They always do, truly. And we change a lot, even if you don't really notice it because you kind of grow with yourself. It's like you don't really notice until you step outside of your body. It's like you've been in your body your whole life, but you didn't really, you didn't watch yourself grow one inch, two inch, three feet, two feet, whatever. You're just here. And you notice things start to get smaller and your need for space and food and things like that starts to grow. And you're like, damn. You look in the mirror, you're like, damn. You kind of still always look the same. You've always seen yourself as yourself. You look at pictures and you notice the differences and things like that, but... You never really notice until you step outside of yourself. So don't underestimate how much you change. And whatever you want to do, just start now. Because bro, I remember being a child. I'm still a child, but I remember being a child. I remember being in primary, elementary, middle school, high school, what like yesterday. I seen one of my friends from high school. I haven't seen him in four years. It felt like yesterday since we graduated. So if you're not doing what you want to do in life and you're not taking action now, time can get away from you. And I don't know if y'all been noticing, but time has been moving like supersonic speed, bro. We in month seven. My birthday is in a week or two, two weeks or whatever, July 29th. It feels like my birthday only comes around once every 10 years. And I don't really celebrate, I don't really look for it, but I can't help but acknowledge it. But we already in month seven. The last six months of 2024. And 2024 just started. This YouTube channel isn't even a year old yet. But it's about to be. Around this time. This is where my mind was about to explode. And I first started my grieving process. And then I thought things got better. And I start grieving again. I thought things got better. And I start grieving again. This was... One of the last months I worked in a restaurant, worked in a restaurant from July, well, all the way from February to August. And then I went back to Sam's Club and then I worked all the way to March and I quit because I was doing YouTube. Like time is moving. So you better get with the motion. You better get with the notion. You better get with the program. But I'm just a messenger. Don't take life so seriously, but do. Take what you do seriously, but don't. You know what I'm saying? Just live life, 
Do what you need to do, but take action, people. Take action, take action, take action, take action, take action. And just for another little, you know, thought. Whatever it is that you're waiting on, ask yourself why. Are you afraid of something? Or are you making a rational decision? Just really think about that. And whatever it is that influences that, is there anything you can do to control the outcome of your situation and your thoughts? Really think about that. And if you need some help, assess. Hey, my name is Shaman Davis. I'm not going to start YouTube until New Year because I work a job and it's just a lot. But my screen time is nine hours a day. And I spend a lot of time watching Netflix and scrolling on social media. And I still go to the gym a little bit, but... Yeah, I'm going to just wait to the perfect time to start YouTube. What could I change about that? Well, for one, when I get off of work, I could probably use a lot of that time to do something productive. Go to the gym for like an hour, film some videos, make some sort of content, work on things outside of the nine to five, because that's not what we want to do. Unless you want to do that, but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about a, another version of me or a version of me that used to exist. Use that time wisely. Change things. You want different results? Change your actions. So based on that little assessment, if I use my time wisely and be more productive, especially in the areas of life that I actually want to participate in, you know, that are more so a part of my identity, things will probably get better. And damn it, it did. Because this year versus last year is a direct parallel of what my life looked like or would look like or looks like or whatever when I adopted one mindset versus another. Around this time last year, I was unhappy working a nine to five. Now this year, I'm a YouTuber. I create content, I create material and people enjoy it and this is what I do. But at the end of the day, I'm just doing me. That's what I want you to do. See ya. Go get them. I love you. Take care of yourself. Ciao.